Hello, you're watching Commodities Corner here on Dukas Copy TV. I'm Thomas Taplin, and our focus today is on gold. An important shift is currently taking place in the gold mining industry, involving the write down of Newcrest Mining Limited's mines by almost $6 billion. This will have a detrimental effect on competitors and could result in many other companies following suit. Well, joining me on the line to discuss this and more on gold is David Jones, Chief Market Strategist at IG in London. Mr Jones, thank you for joining me today. First of all, should we be concerned about the writing down of the value of gold mines? I think if you're an investor in gold mining companies, that then clearly you should. You know, the move that we saw um, by Newcrest, uh, I think they're the largest, it's the largest write down that we've seen and it's unlikely to be um, one that just, just stands out there on its own. I think if we do see gold stay at these sort of levels and of course decrease even further, then it does affect um, mining of the metal at the ground, how viable that is. You know, can companies make a decent profit to make it worthwhile? So I think we do need to be aware that we could see um, maybe not write downs, but at least further weakness and less of an investor appetite towards gold mining companies. An analyst at Jefferies recently said, and I quote, it seems obvious that a storm of write downs is coming from the gold mining industry. Another well-known professor at New York University believes the price of gold could drop to $1,000 an ounce by 2015. Now, after a healthy 10 years plus of seeing the price of gold shoot up, are we now witnessing the start of a major climb down? I do think that is the risk in the months and the years to come, that we will look back on um, you know, what we've seen this year as the start of a much deeper slide. You know, we have seen phenomenal growth uh, in gold since the early 2000s, and so the price has in, um, risen something like eight or nine fold. But what's been interesting, I think, is, is the reaction by the gold price over the last couple of years to the various crises that we've seen, the European crisis, then the more specific crisis in Cyprus earlier this year. Gold didn't really rally, you know, and historically we have seen it as a safe haven. So I think the signs have been there for some time now that plenty of people thought, well, how much higher can gold go, you know, even though global economies still look weak. So I think I think the fact that we've seen it moved to two year lows, although some people will think, well this is just a correction, I don't think it is. And I think the risk is we may well have seen the best for gold now. We've seen in the US hints that we're gonna see less QE, which should help the dollar and put more pressure on the price of gold. So I do think a move back to $1,000 an ounce is by no means a ridiculous forecast at all. Because at one point in 2012, when we last spoke, you predicted the price of gold would break through the 2000 barrier. Yeah, and, that, uh, and that's when we were sort of roaring away. And we, I think the market got as high as 1900 um, just slightly above that. And we had this, this great trend. But I think we have seen, we've seen a massive shift in trend um, it's taken some time um, from those highs in the summer, spring, summer 2011 to now. But I think probably the, the death um, knell for that trend was when we've seen a fairly flat year last year and the break this year below $1,500 an ounce. Over the past 18 months, two years, whenever we've seen gold snap back to sort of $1,500 an ounce, there have been people almost queuing up to buy it and we've seen a healthy bounce. This time around, um, it, it hasn't happened, and it's almost as if 1500 has become a barrier to any rallies. So I think we, that's, we've definitely seen a shift in trend. I think if you look at the market move from October last year, that trend now looks down. That's not to say it can't go up in the short term. You know, we could easily see you know a rally back to where we were just just a month ago, around about $1,400 an ounce. Um, so I think we'll see plenty of volatility, but. I do think the overall medium to longer term direction could well be down from there. Which do you believe will have the greatest effect on the price of gold out of China's slowdown or the Fed's scaling back of its monetary stimulus measures? I think it's a combination of all of those things, um, plus, I think, plus the feeling that it has gone far enough over the last 10 to 12 years. I don't think there's not one thing I think that's going to push gold lower. But um, even though we still have struggling economies, for example, I think we are out of the worst when it comes to the, the Eurozone crisis. So I don't think there's, there's maybe the reason for a safe haven there. We're seeing you know, low, relatively low levels of inflation around the world. So again, there's no need to buy gold as a hedge against that. So I think it's, it's a combination 
of um, fundamental factors, you know, stronger dollar, uh, slowing down maybe maybe from China, not much inflation, not much panic around the world, that will turn people away from it. So I don't think we'll wake up one day and find it's dropped 15%. But I think it'll be more of a grinding move down over the months ahead. Finally, is there anything else you'd like to add before we have to wrap up, Mr. Jones? There are people in the market who are, you know, absolute committed gold bugs. And you hear, you know, you hear talk from some of these people of, you know, five thousand, ten ten thousand dollars an ounce. And I think one of one of the problems is when we've been through a market like the last ten to twelve years of gold, where it goes up all the time. Um, many people almost get wedded to the idea that gold can never go down. And I think it's a very dangerous attitude to have. You know, there have been plenty of examples over the years of really strong trends that have reversed, and the market's moved almost the same amount the other way. So I, I wouldn't fall in love with the idea that gold is, a, is a, you know, a necessary part of, of any investment strategy, because when it's gone up, 800% over the last 10, 12 years. You have to question how much further has it got to go. And for now, the line of least resistance looks down. OK, well, plenty to talk about in the gold market at the moment. Keep watching us here on Dukas Copy TV, as later we'll bring you an interesting interview on investment in the Middle East. But for now, goodbye.